It's a French revolution in the U.S. educational system. In New York and many other cities throughout the U.S., more and more schools are developing bilingual programs in English and French. PS84 has been a pioneer in dual language learning since the middle 80s with Spanish programs and then in 2008 uh, we also started a French dual language program so that the Francophone families and families of children who do not speak French but would like them exposed to the language would have an opportunity to do so. Uh, by the end of grade five, all of the children in those classes will be completely bilingual, biliterate and bicultural. We are servicing approximately 250 students. We have children from France, we have children from Canada, from the Caribbean, um, from Africa, and so it creates this wonderfully diverse and inclusive opportunity for children to learn together, to think together, to collaborate. The way the day typically goes is, uh, well, every other day we teach in French or English, so we alternate days. Typically Mondays are English, Tuesdays are French, Wednesdays English, French, and Fridays we alternate from week to week. We teach pretty much all subject areas in both languages. So we're teaching reading, writing, we're teaching math in English and French. It is very challenging. I think we need to think we, we don't necessarily have uh, resources as readily available. So we do a lot of research to find materials. We do a lot of translations and we adapt the materials we have really to the needs of our students. And that certainly is a challenge. But it is very exciting. It's amazing to see how quickly the children learn. Today in New York City, Eight schools offer a dual language French-English program from kindergarten to fifth grade. Those programs will soon go to higher grades, including high school. This school is the first uh, public uh, charter school uh, with French immersion, starting in the younger grades. The school is located in a very uh, francophone environment with um, little Senegal nearby and uh, a lot of francophone uh, speakers. If you wander in the streets around, you will see that it's, it was actually a necessity. We have a lot of parents who can't afford uh, to pay for, you know, it's very uh, high tuition in uh, private schools and who need uh, a public school where they pay no money. It's a no tuition school. Most of these bilingual programs are initiated by local associations of French-speaking parents who bring their project to school principals and local authorities with the support of the French Embassy. So there is um, an interesting dynamic here in New York City which is very much bottom-up, coming from communities, coming from parents. I'm the father of Atlas and Cyrus. They are both students at PS84 in fourth grade and kindergarten in the French dual language program. My wife, Susan, uh, offered uh, this idea of doing a French program. We get all together and we start planning on you know, opening the program the September after. So it happened, I say, February, March. And uh, by May, we, we uh, gathered information on about 100 families in the neighborhood. And uh, Robin worked with her hierarchy to, to cut all the red tape. And, uh, and by September, we uh, somehow, by miracle, we had to, uh, two grades. They canvassed the neighborhood. They went out, they put up posters, they, they put up websites. They, we had open houses, we did an enormous outreach piece and that first September we were able to open both a kindergarten class and a first grade French dual language class. I speak French well, I'm not bilingual. I started learning it as a child but not as an infant and um, I thought it would be easier for my girls if they started off Literally bilingually. So I spoke with them starting about one and then this program was founded and I worked very hard to get into it and was very glad that I did. What I would say to all um, Francophone parents and especially parents coming from, from France who are used to a very sort of um, state-run um, public school system is that in America they can really make a difference. Um, they can uh, organize they can uh, propose and they can, um, they have a right to have their heritage and their language spoken in school. Keeping in touch with their heritage is not the only advantage for bilingual students. During a conference at the Lycée Français of New York in April 2013, a panel of experts discussed the many benefits of mastering several languages from a very young age. For a bilingual, both languages are always active. 
even when you're speaking English, your French is available for processing. Well, how does your language processor sort that out and allow you to keep speaking in English? That's the executive control system. Overall, bilinguals show these symptoms of dementia several years later than monolinguals. Bilinguals are able to postpone those symptoms by using their bigger and better executive control systems, which are really an important brain network. Multilingualism uh, generates a kind of metalinguistic awareness in students that allows them to learn other languages very quickly, and not just other languages um, that humans speak with one another, but languages that are also um, codes of symbolic representation like mathematics. We do notice and feel strongly that uh, bilingual students have a capacity for mathematics that's perhaps slightly more elevated than it might be for monolinguals. We also would add a very, very important point, that there's a link between bilingualism and what we could call cultural literacy that uh, speaking multiple languages creates a disposition in young people to the other um, and a fascination with cultures other than the ones they already know, which is really quite remarkable. We are trying to, to, to demonstrate somehow, even if we are at the beginning, that you can actually eat bilingually. Eating bilingually is a concept that is very similar to bilingual language education. The basic idea is that just like you can teach your child another language to read or write in another language, you can teach your child how to enjoy foods from a different culture. My husband is French, I'm Canadian. The kids originally grew up in Canada, but we went to spend a year in France when they were in preschool and in kindergarten. They were exposed to a French food education and quickly learned to start eating lots of new foods. So now my older one loves mussels, for example. The younger one loves Roquefort cheese. So they went from having a quite a restricted diet to a very, very adventurous diet, thanks to French food education. With more than 1.3 billion speakers, French is the fourth most spoken language in the US. Bilingual programs are the perfect way for children of French-speaking expatriates to develop their linguistic skills while maintaining a link with their cultures of origin. Oui. 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 Oui.